Hello folks, this is the aforementioned update status video. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about kind of where the update's at, if we're going to be meeting that quarter run release date. I'm going to start off real quick, and for anyone who's here just for that answer, no. The update will not be coming out in March, pretty much since February's ending today, uh, 29th, right? So that's today. Um, the update's not coming out in March. Um, the estimate was made at a time where we, I was very confident in where the update was at and what was remaining. However, um, what I hadn't thought of was just being demotivated in general. The last few months, I've had less motivation than I would have liked, so which has resulted in me doing less work than I would have liked. I wish there's more that I could have done in that time. However, there's been a lot that's been done. Things like the devlog yesterday, the, the crates were done in January and February. The global chest was just done in the last few days before the video. Things like that, like things happen quick. It's just, it's hard to quantify what happens on a day-to-day -day basis at Apollo, really. Yeah, since the update uh, was announced for quarter one in December, about mid-December, um, a lot was done, as I said. There's, uh, I've been doing a lot of bug fixing, a lot of um, visual fixes, things like that. Um, my day-to-day -day was like, you know, get on, do whatever. And I'm kind of just going through things, noting down that needs to be fixed, this needs to be fixed. And sometimes it's visual, sometimes it's game breaking. And we have a whole uh, U-track, as it's called, where testers report issues and blah, 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 and try to make it as organized as possible. Of course, nothing's perfect. We're a smaller team. I'm the sole developer, but, you know, uh, we're doing the best we can. I feel like at this point, with how long the update's gone on, you know, July 2022 is when GT came out. And it's been... I want to say like 19 months since then uh here in february but so it's been quite some time since that update came out but development it's important to remember development started in december 2022 it wasn't as if we were developing this update since july so it's only been 14 months give or take for this update um you know it doesn't make it any better it's been a long time yeah we're doing our best to make it perfect as i said 14 months of development i figure at this point would we rather rush for that 15 month release of, of March or would you rather take another month or two going into quarter two or I, I don't know for a fact if it's a month or two keep that in mind but would you rather take those extra few months to be able to make it perfect in our eyes obviously um there's bound to be bugs things like that we we can't make something perfect because the server I mean the nature of a server is it's so large we have 200 like 80 quests or something like that now it is nuts there's so much to test so many challengers i don't even even if we had 100 testers i don't know if it would be perfect one thing i want to say excuse me we need testers if you guys want to apply for a tester position please do so um in the discord i think it's hashtag apply you could do slash apply and it will give you the um step by step for that so if you guys want to do that please do because i'm burping a lot we're in desperate need of testers and that would help us greatly get this update moving. We're considering doing some like beta testing where we um we do like applications, pretty much like a tester application, and then we have people come on, and you guys are would purely just be playing like a beta test months, hopefully a month before the update comes out, so there's time to fix important issues, but things like that we've kind of bumped around internally to kind of see um if it would be a good idea. If if you guys think a beta test would be a good idea, let us know. It would be totally free of charge, nothing, nothing like that. Um, so you guys would just be applying, and if you qualify, whatever those qualifications are, we'd bring you guys on. You guys just get to play the update early. Because looking at the checklist, here's a kind of look at that. This is the major at the top and the minor at the bottom. I have everything blacked out because there's some things that haven't been announced, and I don't want anyone to be able to like fill in the blanks and weird stuff like that. But as you can see, um, the color key next to it, um, there's a lot of things that are straight up finished and blue is like pop needing polish. So there's a lot of things that are like done. One of the unstarted things, um, I'll tell you is playtime. So the whole on time recode. And I want to kind of get into why that's not just, it's, if it's, it's basically unstarted, there's like a just big framework for how it will work conceptually. So as for why that can't just be cut, I was going to cut it at a point, but I've come to realize that, well, one of the big points for recoding it was it's laggy, like it actually causes server lag. Beginning of the hour, it causes server lag pretty much every hour. People have started noticing that it's specifically on time. It's become common knowledge relatively. So, and, you know, obviously I'm always trying to make lag better for you folks. 
uh, that that's obviously a big important goal on this server is always making lag better or lesser um so with that i believe recoding on time isn't something that can wait uh, i don't want to release this update knowing that on time is still going to be negatively impacting the server that just feels kind of silly and frankly i don't think the whole playtime system is going to take that long and the other one was titles so those aren't going to be too bad fix up some of the flaws make sure all the unlocks work add some new unlocks and add some new uh, features so I want to talk about kind of like what more teasers are left because that's another part of like what's still remaining in the update that's like weighing on me things like we're gonna have one more devlog I mentioned and I think in the last devlog I talked about it there's gonna be one more devlog um I won't mention what it's on but it'll be coming out probably in March so you have that to look forward to and then some more feature highlights I don't know how many more we've done five so far ideally we do nine but I don't know if there's I've been struggling to find things to cover in the feature highlights, so I don't want them to like end up being boring. So maybe there won't be, maybe there'll just be six, meaning one more. We'll see though. Um, so we have stuff like that. Like I like to do, I really enjoy making teasers. If, if that's not kind of obvious, I enjoy making devlogs. I enjoy making feature highlights. I enjoy making these um, detailed graphics for you guys and things like that just to I try to put a big foot forward in terms of quality in every regard with the server, with the teasers, with the videos, everything from start to finish, um, which does end up taking longer than otherwise would if I just type out the same thing in a Twitter post with a screenshot attached, which nothing wrong with that. I play plenty of games and trust me, that gets the teaser across the same as our feature highlights that just look pretty. I just, you know, I, I believe presentation is important. So again, we're going for quarter two at this point. Um, whether it be later quarter two or earlier, I don't know. There will be a definitive release date. That will be the next time you hear about that. And not to backtrack on the whole, I want, I do want the update to be perfect. However, there's things that will be, there will be no corners cut. However, there will be some things that we decide to put less effort isn't the word, but for lack of a better word, effort into so just so that things don't end up dragging on for weeks that they don't need to it's not really much else to talk about thank you all for supporting the server for so long um you guys make it possible for me to make a living off of the server purely sitting in this room that i've dedicated to being an office computers here so it's a office right yeah you guys make it possible for me to properly make a living off of this and live without needing to go get another job or anything like that since gt development started i have not had a uh typical job so this is i mean i'd like to say a dream come true but it was never it wasn't like something like you know what well, we don't want to be an astronaut when i grow up it's just something that i became passionate in you know i was playing dbc servers back in i don't even know 2016 and then i uh, ended up running my own i don't know 2016 or 17 and then I started Apollo in January of 2018, and um, since it's been an obsession, really, uh, in school, in high school, I used to just be on my phone the entire time, talking in the Discord. Like, frankly, I was chronically online. It was it was a problem. Still am, but, I mean, I guess I made a living off of it, so, anyway, sorry, got a little bit off track. I really appreciate you folks for sticking around when I decide to spend, uh, wait, 19 months between the last update and the current update. And it's not even out yet, so it'll be 20 or more, teetering on two years, basically. Um, so, yeah, I appreciate you folks for staying around this long and, and sticking by my side. And, you know, I know there's a lot of you who um, support the server, and thank you. You know, we're not super big. It's a relatively small community. It's kind of just uh, friends of friends. Hopefully, we're going to get on Curse Forge one day, so that will get us a bigger boost. We got to do some things to get on Curse Forge, um, change some things, so... Yeah, a smaller community, you know, I appreciate you all. You guys make this possible, truly. I mean, if like everyone watching this, you guys make this possible, um, playing the server, donating, whatever you do, it helps. I mean, watching this video means the world to me. I put a lot of, um, you know, effort into these videos. I try to, I try to give us a YouTube presence so that we can start getting people from the YouTube algorithm um, keep you guys informed about these updates. I hope that they're I hope you guys feel like we communicate enough You know, we, we try to talk in the discord often for you folks and answer pretty much any questions about the updates Um, so I hope that you guys feel like we're communicating enough and talking to you about the updates enough Um, you know, we do our best to 
be transparent about everything we do and you you know we're not we're just the server at the end of the day is for you guys i mean obviously all the changes we make are just like oh that'd be cool that'd be cool this would be cool but at the end of the day it's for you guys you guys are the ones playing it i know you folks are gonna appreciate it so i do my best put my best foot forward for you guys so thank you uh, for tuning into this video go watch devlog from yesterday if you haven't already um i'll see you guys in the next devlog there'll probably be some teasers before that things like that so yeah that's about it uh, got into a little rambling at the end thank you all for supporting me um the update will be coming in quarter two